Yo peeps, what up? Show me next to here. We are back and we're continuing on with the Tower of the Gods. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm tired right now. It's late at night, past 4 o'clock, I think. I'm just gonna finish up this dungeon and then that's gonna be it. Okay, first things first. I don't know why I keep saying that, but anyway, I have a point. Bitch, ow, fuck! Not the way I want to do that. What I actually want to do is this. Got him! Okay, the reason I grabbed this is so I get across. There we go. Alright. Up and over and now we go! There we go. Okay, now we're across. Two over here. Same procedure. Let's call our friend down. I'm going to be focusing mostly because I'm going to be trying to not like use my energy to talk because I'm trying to stay awake right now. Anyway. So let's actually get this back out. Hold on, Mr. Statue. Actually, you stay right here. Now you would think to actually just use a command melody on him and get yourself across, but no, that'd be a waste of time. What we actually need to do is command melody. Whoops. And have yourself on the switch. So whenever you initiate the command melody, it's like whenever you use the hoi pairs on the birds. Whenever you have the hoi pairs on the birds, anyway. Whenever you use a Hawaii pair, basically is what it is. Of course, you can actually look at Link right there, he's still conducting, but... In any case, just get on to the other side, return, and then just step off the platform. The rainbow bridge will go away, then just get yourself across. You didn't really need to call the guy, but anyway. So what we want to do now, let me actually drop him, because it give me a throw him. There it is. Our friend, the King of Red Lions, will actually explain to us. Link, is I the King of Red Lions? I know it's you. You're the only guy that can talk through this thing. I'm afraid that there are some areas in which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. Do not bear leaving them behind. Once you awaken them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this I assure you. What he's saying that is we need to use this guy as a pressure item. Put him on a switch, that door opens. Now let's get ourselves to that door. Again, no free swing while in this mode. So, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, a little bit more. One more swing to do. And up and at him! I do that just for extra measure, because whenever you jump, Link can actually get some distance a bit with the dive. Anyways, inside here. Inside here, we meet our first ever Dark Nut. And look what's on his waist. Look what's on his back. Rope. Okay, get your sword out. Hey ya! Shit! Bitch! Thank you for the bomb! Yoink! Thank you! Thanks for leaving yourself open, bitch. Hi. That's how we can do some major damage. 
Nice! See, look at that! It took the whole heart. But now he's done. That's why I need to practice the work a bit more. <laughs> Get the pattern going, and then you can see, like, with even with the darkness and everything, they actually do have a pattern. With him, we now have a couple of ways before we can get to Arca. Anyways, let's collect these hearts. Ruby! Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, inside the chest is our dungeon item. The one of many, the Hero's Bow! So that's a Y, Z, or X and use it. This has an odd aiming mechanic because if you're used to the modern day shooting games and everything, you would really hate this thing. Let me explain. See if I can actually see anything radical here. Anyway. Now I'm going to show you a little tidbit here. These break with the sword. So if you're low on health, or low on money, break these down. Another interesting thing. Spin attack! No, oh, okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Now we have a default of 30 arrows like we do with bombs. First, let me hit that over there. Whoops. I suck at aiming this thing. Got him! There we go. I mean, I don't know where to aim. The radical's a little bit above the thing, so that's what we want to go to. Get back, we have to swing back. Those platforms are only designated to the, the statue. Get us up across. Two. One. Two. One. And jump and slice. There we go. Grab Mr. Statue. Look for the platform to return. Jump! Not that far. And jump again. As I we go. And the reason the enemy thing popped up is because those little friendly statues on the side came to life. Nah, I'm kidding. The weak point will be on the front of them where that clear black essence is. Then you actually have to. Or no, that's actually their vital point. Is it vital or weak point? No, weak point is the front. Yeah, vital point is the back. Vital in other words is in like life. Anyways. Rupee! Magic! Which I don't need. <clears throat> okay, that's the entrance, right? Okay, three total and we only have two. Let's go get the third friend. It's only been eight minutes, nice. Okay, this is out. Actually, we don't need to do it just yet. I'm trying to attack the bats, but I don't want to like, get attacked myself. Anyway. Where is it? There they are. Wait. Ah, I can't flat it. There we go. Nope, it didn't work. Crap. Can't flat it. Don't get out of here, the punk. Oh great, there was the money. Yee! No, it's right. You get over there. I'll get on with you. What is with you bats attacking me when I have these things in my hand? Sheesh! The bats like to kick 
kill me when I have a explosive in my hand. Oh, cock blab it. There we go. I had to do that because it's an area I need to go into. This will give us plenty of arrows and bombs. Anyway, inside here. Optional area. Technically optional, but you get the point. So you want to have your bombs and your arrows equipped for this area. As well as... This. Why? Because let's check this little thing out. The zones that reflect the wind are drawn here. What song do we know that actually conducts the ability to move wind? The Wind's Requiem. This will be very well reused in the future. But before we can get the chest, we may have to defend ourselves from this. Nom. <laughs> I love when they do that, it's like <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, max out of both. Let's get our prize. There we go. The way you knock down the poles, by the way, in that room is you have to get the guys to run into it. In any case, a treasure chart is our gift. We know how to view it, so don't restate it. Come on, already, dang it. I don't have that much time. I did not want to check that out. Anyway, let's get out of this room. Head across. Before we want to head over the... Uh, Scales? There we go. Scales. Before we want to head over the scales and everything, we actually want to... Let me kill this thing first. Missed. There we go. Really? Platform? There we go. Next thing's next. At least platform's moving. Let's see when you hit from here. There we go. Got it. Whole purpose of the arrows in this room. Arise! Whoops. I mean. Oh, son of a bitch! There we go. Arise! Let me get my other thing out. I mean, this little bad boy out. Link, seriously? That's why. It helps when going through these gaps and everything. There's two treasure chests in this room. One across, one over here. Let's get this one, which is a rupee. Nope, it's a key. We need this one. I think the next one's a rupee. Right, that's why we need that one. three of the eyes in the room, then you can get the chest over there. After we get across the room, then we just actually jump off the thing. 
We'll just float over to the next area. Or back to the start of the area. If we need to, we can just use Grandma Soup to recover our magic and health. In any case, another joy pendant. That leaves us with 37, I believe. Okay, we get the point. Again, I sound crabby, I'm sorry. Just really late at night. Alright, let's float over here. Again, mind your shadow. Hold forward if you're afraid you might hurt yourself, because Link usually does a dodge roll to get out of the way. Instant unequipping of items. Link, just get on the ladder, thank you. Come on. Hmm. No, the bats are dead. Yep. Okay. We want to tip the scales in our favor. Literally. You think one will be enough? No. Link weighs about as much as two of these things. These things will respawn if you miss the water, so don't worry. So your best bet is to have three. Okay, now that we have three, roll across. Once more. Rolling gives you an extra boost in height. This is also another reason why we wanted the key over there. Now, many people might not know how to do this, but again, this is where your deck leaf comes in handy. That's why they give you magic. Now, your next thing. Get these out. Actually, no. That's here. Keep that there. And play the command melody. Which is useless, actually. I forgot to call the guy down. Another common mistake. Call the guy down first. He can't hear you thanks to this little barrier right here, which will dissipate once he's on the ground floor. Now we can command him. We're just kind of awkward to figure where Link's hand positions are, because he's in front of us right now. In any case, we are now the... I'm just going to call him the deer one. We're the deer statue. So we just need to go over this little platform and him, return, he'll stay there. Come on, dude. Alright, let's go in the main room. Okay, we're going to have to come down real quick, because we have a new enemy encounter. Ah, no, no, no. Wizard ropes. Takes about two hours to knock those guys out. The next thing we want to do is get back over the other side without our statue friend because we need to provide a platform for him. So let's throw these statue friends. Oh god, over there. This will be our third and final statue, mind you. So after this, we only have one item left to get. That's a boss key. Probably best to throw all four of these things down here just in case. Besides, I mean, they're all here anyway. Might as well. Okay. Now the platform is utterly secure. Only just rocks back and forth. Now let's grab our statue friend. Try not to miss a jump because if you fall with him, you'll be, get, be sent back to that door as if you were knocked out or fallen into the platform. In any case. That was our third and final statue friend. He goes to join his brethren. And we have ourselves a mini cutscene to initiate transportation. The glowing triangles on the chest start to extend out. And their powers in mind, they form an elevator! All right, let's get ourselves some bombs. More bombs. See if we can get some arrows going on here. Nope, a rupee. Oh, there we go. Some arrows. Nice. The reason we need arrows because that's the key ingredient to the boss's defeat. So we, e e e. No, I'm kidding. We really want to stock up before we get to the boss. 
Not even a joke. Alright. That's not stocking up. Let's go inside. Ow! Let's go inside. And now we get beamed up to the next area. Those guys look familiar? Can I cause me? Oh god. Ha! It worked. Again, Grandma Soup can help me, and I also have a fairy, so I don't really need to worry that much. Well, I like to do that is because he hits a bomb first before me. And there's a chance like that would happen where the hearts come out, you know? Ooh, joy pendant. Now we have 36. Also another reason. We have to go over to this side to get the statues. Yep. Da, 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 da. Eh. Oh, I missed. Thought it would work. Place them on there. Place it on there, I guess. Because it's genderless after all. It's a statue. It doesn't have a gender. It was kind of weird considering the other guy called the other statue's brother. Anyway. That one on there. And then this one here. And lasers go bye-bye. And the boss key chest. Well, technically, the big key chest, so... We got the big key! You just gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. Oh shit, isn't it? Hey! I forgot this thing's coming to life. I think I hit this. Okay, well, on the back. And run away, they do explode. Thank you. And that's our key entrance to the next area. And the next area is going to be a pain in the rear. Let me tell you that. Ow! Remember the little platforms from outside? This is one of them. And that guy's just an annoying little bird trying to be a pain in the ass. I missed! Bitch! And down goes the feather. <laughs> Don't worry, this thing only goes left and right. You also target these things when they're open and fire them. Which all he gets is a bomb, but either way. More arrows. Now this guy on the other hand, roll by. Didn't mean to attack him, but that works. Actually, he got attacked by the lasers. Oh no, my heart! I lost my heart. My love is forever gone. Punk. Okay, grab and run! We get a bomb. Or you're basically you're filling up right here. And it's like every other game with this. I remind you we don't need this, but we'll keep elixir soup on here just in case. Come on, Miss Fairy. There we go. Miss Fairy, Mr. Fairy, I don't know, just a fairy. Anyway, we need both to have the bombs and the arrows fully stocked before going in here. We don't direly need them, but we should have them before going into this area. I'll make a longer video for this case because I want to get this dungeon finished and then I want to beat the next area. That's my objective for tonight, before I go to bed. So, without further ado, let's go inside and meet the boss, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Whoops. Uh, the Guardian. Let's just call him the Guardian. That's basically what he is. You have done well to find your way to this palace. O oh, Chosen One, accept this final challenge. The hands, they live! They're alive! And so is the hand in the center. Meet 
our next boss. Okay, first, target the hands. Fire off a couple arrows. You wanna knock them out. Knock out the hands first. Then focus on the head. Shit. Misfire. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Shit, Nick. Run. Run. It's best to go into the blast. Two arrows should knock out one eye. Run away, run away, run away. Like I said. Okay, eye is knocked out. Grab a bomb. Throw it in his mouth. Move away. Should you run out of arrows, do not worry. The boss will respawn more arrows for you generously. Shoot, that was close. I didn't target anything. Hey, when that happens. Ah! Okay, one eye down. Move, 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 move. Into the last area. Crap, I have four shots left. There we go, he's down. Grab the bomb. Throw it in. Back away. Okay, here's the problem with us in this situation. That fire the last arrow, he'll actually give you more arrows. He can tell when you run out of arrows. There we go. He's knocked out. This hand is recovered, though. Now we got him to deal with. Okay, we're running out of arrows again. He has more arrows. But the eyes have revived. Wait, no! Oh, they're still out. Oh god. Run away! Be aware! This area is a platform that floats above the surface. Okay, that's one I knocked down. Fire! Four shots. There we go! So the bomb in, and that'll be the last hit on the boss. We did it. We beat the boss of the Tower of the Gods. The path can now be opened. Oh, Chosen One! What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forward with caution. Sorry, I had to make it sound dramatic. Wow, under half an hour. Nice! And no hit run 2 on the boss. Sweet! Get you! Oh god, he's inside. I kind of think I don't really want it, but I have to take it anyway. <laughs> you got a heart container. Your life energy is increased by 1, plus your life gauge has been replenished. Now we have a total of 7 hearts. And with this, we go into the Mystic Light. Where will this light take us? Only fate can tell. Bye next time, peeps.